thank you so much for joining today credit union channel so i'm from the asian confederation of credit union so we are very pleased to provide uh, um, knowledge this is a knowledge sharing center this is a regional organization for savings and credit cooperative particularly this uh, lecture is providing a valuable guideline to organize uh, savings and credit cooperative step by step particularly it's uh, valid for bhutan uh, it's valid for uh, to myanmar and Laos, Cambodia, and Timor Leste, and Mongolia. I think this is according to the AQ classification. These are the uh, uh, developing stage country. Uh, I am going to give this uh, outline. So based on this outline, I'm sure this is very useful for your country federation uh, unit uh, promotional activity, uh, like uh, association or maybe project office uh, is who are promoting savings and credit cooperative uh, or maybe a government regulatory body to open in the savings and credit cooperative i will go step by step to to organize this savings and credit cooperative okay there are 15 steps i will go one by one step number one is prepare promotional toolkits uh, whatever the you before you start the promotional activity this is a homework uh, you have to look at uh, existing law in the cooperative law, credit union law it has to study and read to understand uh, how it is the process and also to jot down and the registration guidelines before we go to the village and based on the law you have to develop the model bylaws with the consultation of the regulator not to have a override the existing law and ACU has developed the uh, model bylaws you can deploy a very important uh, objective structure product and services internal control and conflict resolutions and the various area uh, there and we need to also create a template tool for the survey of the looking for market study on the credit union and we have to develop the promotional stage material uh, how we go into the village, what is the marketing arm, because of microfinance institution, go to the village to organizing and providing the loan, but the credit unions go to the village and value of savings. So we go to what is the uh, poster about value of saving and the registration guidelines. So then simple way to understand and very important basic accounting uh, books, uh, structure, uh, and then uh, basic policies on uh, organizational development, uh, board of directors and committees responsibility and financial management. And another one is a planning. Uh, another one is at HR management. So these are the basic policies uh, we need to, to develop. If you do not have, kindly uh, request the ACU. ACU will be very happy to provide that information. Let's go to now. We have a material in the prepare and in hand advance. Now we need to go to the look at uh, our locations of the promotion activity. It's very important to see uh, end result. That is the vision. Vision is a savings and credit cooperative is a financial institution owned by the member, controlled by the member, will managing by the people. Huh? So serve so the people. It's different from the microfinance institution or different from the bank. So we have to look at our business volume because the savings and credit card is an economic activity. It's not a charity. It's not welfare. We have to mobilize savings enough to provide it like a rewarding within the same community. So this is our experience at least 10 to 15 village, which is around maybe around 15 to 20 maximum geographical area covering. So it's based on the, your transportation facility within a 30 minutes 40 minutes will able to uh, to moving and i'm going to later on give the structure uh, how we each village look like a center and then they will have a the office will able to communicate so i am putting the target let's see first three months time 100 members and then look at around uh, six month time 500 members and 12 month time around 1000 members Next, the baseline study, 
you're looking for existing financial institution name and products and where they are reach out and in market interest rate uh, products and where the answer market so then uh, before we go to the promotional meeting so we can see really possibility to organize the financial cooperative in that area i think most of the people do not really understand this type of approach so they go to the first and village and smaller group and try to organize and then they look in whether they can promote i think this is a very from the very beginning they have learned initial introduction to the village i think before we go to the village leaders and to the village head you need to introduce this is a legally a country regulatory framework financial cooperative it is not a handout it is kind of uh, inner dry motivational approach is savings based you have to take a little time to convince i think many people do not really see the value of the uh, cooperative they easily see easy money coming to the village with the microfinance institution but need to understand they do i'm not criticizing they do in the financial market in the in the market they are like a selling money but we help the people to build their life and improve their living condition and go back to that uh, promoters meeting and after get green line approved from the village head now you need to look at the very promoters leaders at least around 15 i believe that the motivation in a dry motivationally people who really commit for the corporate development and then you will have a kind of seminar three hours with a smaller group maximum 20 people introduce the bylaw and organize a structure and role and responsibility of the board and committee the meaning of general meeting and everybody very active and what are the savings and the loan products and what will be the, our posters and registration process and the result of the feasible study so this a uh, meeting will create a vision vision very clear vision to the leaders maybe they don't have a technical know how but end of this session will create and end of the conclusion these people will be a promoters group through the promoters group an action plan will be within 2 15 to 30 days they agree to organize set our first meeting general meeting with the like a first uh, bringing at least i am sure if you are very good uh, promoters 100 people you can bring it that means you are initially this general meeting uh, then you need to have a bylaws somebody has to explain from the federation office page by page and it has to be if you have a budget you can print it and give the copy to the everyone and then you also to to, to present to the meeting of the founding members who are really agree promotion committee and then they can elect the board of directors some surprise committee this time our work is a more committed people who has time to go uh, marketing and then at least approve the, our business plan uh, around maybe 1000 members to bring it uh, one year time uh, in, in in terms of the financially I think it's 100,000 US dollars, but we can cut it to the uh, one member only maybe one dollar for savings, a weekly basis. We can come later on, we can explain the financial product detail. And then initial, very important initial share capital collection of the uh, founding members. So then we agree, and then you will set the uh, marketing plan, which schedule is in at least another 30 days which village and which area they're going to do and all the people are take responsibility to promoting in the meantime the the promotional promotional group need to have a intensive training about the leadership and about the duty of the board of directors and they need to understand the uh, policies the basic policies and they need to understand the product and services of the financial corporate society interest rate and they also need to learn the basic accounting document and recording system and preliminary the uh, procedures how to conduct a general meeting and the right to maintain the minutes so this is all are new 
need to provide it will take two days a training program so it could be done in the village level if you have a training facility we can bring into the outside the village the marketing and promotional i will do another slide a video on the, what are the techniques you need to look at the marketing marketing is uh, uh, creating people to understand if not selling community how the credit union will help to build their life and very important the credit union is a teaching financial literacy and members to become a more economically active so this is how we design the financial product and at least uh, uh, promotional every day at least five members kind of the smaller and one community and uh, the found that the mobilization funds the mobilization of the share one dollar per week like that if it is too much so you can get 50 cents i have no problem and the savings component uh, again one dollar or 50 cent and target the recruit uh, 100 members within the uh, month time so then we started so we have done i have done it this in the in the Myanmar, I'm sure this is uh, following. This particularly, I use this uh, video to Timor Leste because Timor Leste, the membership is very, very smaller, and uh, um, this is also very useful for the China also. So registration process. Since we already uh, get the connection with the regulators and then our regulator officers, somebody in charge, maybe board of directors in the federation necessary to prepare registration document within a six month time to it will take time to get approved uh, and then you have to submit all the necessary document uh, kindly refer to the your regulatory framework and what are the documents needed now is a board of directors meeting and regularly we are going to conduct the board of directors meeting and it's provide the staff the project staff and the federation need to sit uh, with this board, these are newly elected board. Uh, it is like a job training, and then they need to how to set up the agenda, what are the um, mandatory agenda, review of the progress and collection of the money, approval of the membership, uh, and then we will go at least first three months. Our uh, our uh, project staff coming from the national federation will provide uh, assistance to how to conduct the meeting. And now, since we are operating almost 11, 10 weeks, uh, eight weeks, now the time for us to start for the smaller loans, uh, since there are already qualified members who have uh, deposit money, share, and save it's a weekly basis. So maybe you can start with a smaller loan. Uh, probably I started even a Myanmar lower than this, around maybe $20, $30. We can start it. Maybe somebody can say fifty dollars. Nothing to do, but I am sure still fifty dollars is a big amount for when you look at the lowest rank level. But if you have a depends on, uh, try to select the only ten members and then regularly basis every two weeks, every three weeks we are going to grant the loan. So then our this is a time is very important to have a project staff. Uh, to allow into the manager to hire and guide the manager. So within a one month time, so credit union need a manager. Now the issue is you don't have a money uh, and maybe uh, we need to look at uh, some approach, uh, some volunteer, committed, qualified person to work at least around first three months, a voluntary basis. Uh, then you have an agreement once we come to the uh, value of the volume of the business, so he will be paid fully. This this practical experience, uh, because if you have a project funding, okay, then you can allocate a certain amount of money for initial three months time to work as a certain allowances, and then you have a own office. It's very important to have a, some office to hire the full-time paid manager designated place and put in the signboard is very important to visualize the people reporting so we need to prepare for monthly performance report i think acu has developed this report and it has a summary of the monthly 
financial transactions such as uh, share, how much savings, loan balance, is there any repayment, and what is the promotion, and is there loan granted, and what is the all uh, activity and reporting, how many uh, people has uh, paid or not paid, it should be a, a monthly performance report. So if you need, uh, like you can provide that also to promote the credit union, so reporting format. Now, I believe this time, so we are closer to getting to the one year time. So then project staff and federation now expanding the new savings and the new products. And maybe you can introduce a time deposit program, a budget savings different program. I will explain for we look at for the uh, our livelihood and the, the activity and based on that, uh, we can develop the uh, new financial product savings and loan. So then we can recruit. In the last, it's a very important part in the reporting, Max already mentioned. Uh, this is a very important, how you able to measure uh, periodically. I think this guideline would help uh, initial stage who are willing to organize savings and recovery. I hope this will be useful if you like it and please share with your member network. Uh, particularly if you have a certain difficulty to understand, if you need the tools, please approach Asian Confederation of Credit Union. Thank you so much for participating for this uh, video and listen. Thank you.